We love you, we love you, and everywhere we follow, we follow, we follow. Spread support the palace, palace, palace. That's the way we like it, we like it, we like it. Whoa, 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 whoa. We love you, we love you, and everywhere we follow, we follow, we follow. Great spot, palace, palace, palace. That's the way we like it, we like it, we like it. God, oh, get in, man. <laughs> I'm under the palace fan, and this is a message to all the Liverpool fans that were saying yesterday, 4 0, 4 0, blah, 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 blah. What happened now, mate? Full time from Anfield, Liverpool nil, Crystal Palace won. Up the palace. And wow, what a game of football. Liverpool lose ground again. What a miserable week to be a Liverpool fan. 3-0 defeat on Thursday to Atalanta in the Europa League. And now dropping points in the Premier League title race. And the question is, is it all over for Liverpool? Can they still win the title? I mean, if you're a Man City or an Arsenal fan, you are absolutely buzzing right now. Obviously, um... To be fair to Arthur though, I mean, they could drop points themselves. Also, they are playing against Aston, <coughs> against Aston Villa at 4.30. But yeah, but I mean, anyway, what a result for Crystal Palace. Um, the goal from um, Elise, I think it was, or wherever it was. To be fair, yet again, absolutely terrible defending from Liverpool for Crystal Palace's goal. I mean, it was just absolutely poor. Literally, I think I think it was Elise who scored. It was either Elise or Eze, one of them two scored. But no one's literally marking him, man. Just poor defending the game. It was like the other night as well against Atalanta in the Europa League. Just absolutely abysmal defending for all three of Atalanta's goals the other night. And I don't even know when was the last time Liverpool had back-to-back -back defeats at Anfield. I generally don't know that. I'll have to look that up in a minute, but... I mean, overall, just what an incredible game. Um, I mean, to be fair to Liverpool, they had a lot of chances in that game. I just knew after Palace scored, I was just like, at some point, Liverpool are going to score. But I'll tell you what, though, the back line of Crystal Palace today was absolutely brilliant. The back four today for Crystal Palace were absolutely brilliant. Mitchell was outstanding. Anderson was out. Just the whole back line of Crystal Palace, including the goalkeeper, Dean Henderson, they were all absolutely phenomenal. They were brilliant. But, I mean, Liverpool, I think they had 21 shots, about six or seven on target. They had so many opportunities to get back into the game, but they just couldn't get past that wall. Of, they just couldn't get the, past the Palace defence. They were literally a wall. They were literally like the guards of Buckingham Palace or something. That's how good Palace were defensively today. I mean, after they did go 1-0 up attacking-wise, they weren't too great. But defensively, though, Palace were apt. There was not one thing that was bad about that Palace back line. They were, they were absolutely phenomenal. And it's just a massive win for Palace. I mean, it's a bit of a shame they've got nothing to play for. But for Liverpool, though, that is not good at all. I don't think they play next week. Oh, yeah, they got Fulham next week. Fuck. They'll probably win that. They'll probably win that. But, I mean... Liverpool, I mean, two defeats in the row now. I don't know what's going on. Obviously, they've got the second leg now in Bergamo next week. Is it going to be three defeats in a row? Probably. But you never know. Liverpool, we all know what happened in 2019. 3-0 defeat against Barcelona in the first leg. And obviously, obviously the second leg, Liverpool won 4-0 at Anfield. But it's going to be tough. They're going to um, the Garrett, the Garrett Stadium, which is Atalanta's ground. But... Uh, yeah, but overall, man of the match for me, I, I'm, I'm probably going to either give it to Tyrick Mitchell or Anderson. I'll probably give it to Anderson. Every every ball Liverpool were putting into the box, Anderson was there to every single header. But I thought Tyrick Mitchell played well at left back. And I thought um, Dean Henderson made some really, really key saves today. But I'm just so happy Liverpool have lost. Because yesterday, all the Liverpool fans, not just Liverpool fans, loads of fans are giving me saying 4-0 this, 4-0 that. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. This is revenge. Revenge is sweet. Up the palace!